get started. Murderer! It looks like everything is connecting now. Okay, guys, this is Michael Wataharo here doing a special morning edition stream of Freedom Planet. And today I am joined by my stalwart companion, Borch. Hello, hey, hi, how y'all doing? Um, I'm doing okay. How's everybody else doing? Well, nobody's in the chat yet. Uh, anyway, got a new special layout for Mila here. Uh, Barge provided the uh, little Mila pick for me. So, uh, yeah, well, it may be afternoon for you, but it's morning to me, Luca Trupa. All right, so uh, da, 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 da. you are just a little bit lower than me, Mike. Who? So did you lower your mic, or maybe it's just because you're maybe being a little bit away from it? How about now? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> <Go ahead>. <laughs> <laughs> either way, either that, or I just lower the volume of the stream and keep my microphone at maximum. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, keep it maybe at seventy-five. Maybe that'll work. All right. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Good Let's go ahead and get into it. Hey, we just got to let people know. Streaming. Okay. No, is, is there a problem with chat? Okay, let me fix that then. Let me. No, 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 no. It's it's nothing that you can do. Like that's just the dark uh, well, Twitch chat. Well, you know, it's op opacity. I've got it on fifty-five. That's probably what it is. Oh. Okay. There we go. Now it's at a hundred. All right. I and Mikafire is here. And hello, Mikafire. How is it going? Oh, I'm kind of surprised. I was actually kind of expecting us to stream like to an empty house, but oh. I suppose that there are people in other time zones who will actually be able to catch the stream. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. All right. Ooh. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Something isn't sitting right with me. Okay, there we what go. Isn't, okay. What isn't sitting there's, right with you? There's just a little graphical error I wanted to fix. Okay. So I've done Lilac Story. I've done Carol's story, and Red Mage Mike is in the chat. Hey, Red Mage hey Mike, how's it going? Anyway, now it's time. It's time. It's time for Mila. It's time to duel. No, it's not time to duel. What are you talking about? Time to duel. Du du Work is slow, really? No. All right. Of course, we've seen this cutscene before, plenty of times. Oh yes. Oh yes. Meanwhile, in an underground tunnel, an innocent little creature frolics. I love, uh, she, I love So this. Mila is a little bit hard to get used to. The first thing that I want you to get used to is I want you to summon a box mm -hmm. and then throw it. And then I, what I want you to do is I want you to summon another box and I want you to use the button that you uh, used it with to actually like, like once you summon a box there's something you can do where you can like make a projectile out of it. And I want you to figure that out. It's your strongest move by far. I mean, it was like a special... Oh, hello. I'm getting a hint here. Oh. Hang on. Ah, found something. <laughs> <laughs> really, Mikafire? 
you actually can just dig up the ground just in a lot of places and just find stuff. It's kind <laughs> of f funny. But yeah, you really need to figure out that shield break move because it's amazing. If you can't figure it out, then I could start up the game and figure out what the actual control is. Because it's not just throwing the box. You can actually make the box, like, burst. And you can use... That's your strongest attack, and it's also, uh, like, you can use it as, like, a speed boost. I think I might have figured it out. Maybe not. See. I'll catch up there. Yep, that's it. Okay, cool. And you can aim that, like, below you. And hit the ground, and you'll do a little big speed boost. I think after you jump. Oh, oh, after I jump. Oh, I, so I can't do it just falling down. Nope. Um. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying. Gonna learn these move set. Oh yeah, Mila has like the hardest to learn like move set by far. Wow, really? Uh, I, I thought... think she's also like the fastest character because I mean, like if you ever watch like a speed run of somebody doing Mila, they can make her go incredibly fast due to the speed boost from that shield break. Okay. Kind of weird. All right. Is this one the semi-aerial cream the rabbit replacement? Absolutely. Same temperament, same moveset. It is definitely a cream the rabbit ripoff. Yep. But I'm okay with that because, I mean, like, the Sonic franchise really doesn't use cream to any good effect. Yeah. Or her chow cheese. Oh, come on. Okay, what can I can I dig down there? Can I Yeah, to get, absolutely. Can I get to those Nope, that's not working. God, come on now. Okay. Got me a little bit of health. Yeah, I've noticed that uh, Mila's health bar is a lot smaller than uh, Carol's and Lilac's. Oh, yeah. I think that the developers might consider her hard mode. Like, I used to think that, but I'm kind of questioning it as well, because I think it's just because, like, Mila is so powerful that they needed to balance her a little bit. Uh, I wonder. Because once I started using her, I thought that she was, like, really, really weak, and she was just completely hard mode, but... After seeing, like, what people can do with her moveset, I, I, I don't know if I still think that. <laughs> no, it's not working. Uh, when it comes to projectiles as well, you can actually mm -hmm. use the shield to actually just uh, block them. Mm -hmm. So it'll be really handy, especially for those soldiers in the late game. Okay. Oh, hello. I think I've run into a mini boss. Oh yeah, lots of mini bosses uh, in this stage. Really? Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting my butt handed to me right now. Sonic franchise doesn't use anyone well anymore. <laughs> eh, kind of. I mean, like obviously Sonic has always been like the main character in like all the recent games, but they've really been going away from the idea of like having like everybody be playable. I and mean, like it's kind of sad when like Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games like uses more of the characters than like the mainline Sonic games do. Oh, finally. Okay. You're actually figuring out that you can carry things a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, but not. Oh man, did you see expression on her face? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Just the beady little eyes, like, oh my yeah. god, what am I doing? What are you doing? I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I don't like this. Alright, 
you don't have to worry about air too much in these stages as long as you're moving at a, a brisk pace. It's not like uh, the end game. Oh, okay. They give you lots of air pockets. Oh, yeah. Oh dear. To be fair, the Mario series isn't being too good on their extended cast either these days. Yeah, I think like like the marketing departments got to like both of them, and they were like, the only character that people know is Sonic and Mario, so you could only use Mario and Sonic. Instead of like the millions of other characters. <laughs> and obviously, I mean, like there's that huge thing with Miyamoto, like completely destroying like all of the unique Toads when it came to the uh, Paper Mario series. It honestly makes me mad to hear him like talk about it. Like <laughs> I can link like a, a chat log of that in chat once I oh find boy. it. Oh boy. I've got a freaking angler fish. Yes. Beware the angler. The angry angler. I'm, I wonder if I'm supposed to make him swallow his little thing. Oh. Yep, that's that's exactly what I need to do. Okay. Found it. So what I linked in chat there is something that always kind of makes me mad to just read through. <laughs> so enjoy okay. for uh, Miko and Red Mage and Look at Troopa if you choose to read it. <sighs> All right. Well, I did have some health. Okay, now I got a shield. All right, good, good, good. All righty. Wait, there's a left here. Oh, it's for those little blue crystal things. So, and funnily do, enough, you do they have an actual been... name? What about what the crystals? Yeah. And I could look it up. Yeah. I can do that while you're playing the game. They're probably just crystals. I can't imagine that they would actually have, like, a, a name. In fact, yeah, I think they actually are just crystals because there's actually achievements that are bound up with them, and they as well just call them crystals. Oh. The leaves might have the name, though. The health leaves. Yes, none of us are safe, apparently. Looks like the Mario and Luigi series isn't safe either, if Paper Jam is any indication. Well, you might actually just say that they're the safest thing in the world. Yes. Seems like random health pickups keep dropping there. I keep hearing a whistle. And a little health uh, pickup appears. Don't know what that's all about. Oh dear. I don't either. I didn't notice it myself. It's funny because I actually was playing Mila a little bit just as of late. Yeah, I know. How on earth do I get to that little card thing? Maybe this is a hidden path. Ah! Exactly what it is. Ha ha! Up, oh, up. Oh, I heard it whistle again and a health pickup appeared. Because I was going through uh, my achievement run for this game, obviously, and the, uh, the there's an achievement for beating this level in, like, five minutes, I believe it is. Well, I've already lost that achievement. Of course. <laughs> of course. You will, not, you will not be able to get your first time through. Yes, but the Hell, even if you were act even if you were trying at it, you probably wouldn't be able to get it, because I had to yeah. look up, like, what the speedrunner does, and... Like, like, once you actually see, like, Mila's, like, unlocked capabilities, it's just amazing. Gosh. Let's see if I can... Alright. Got to that shield. Alright. I'd almost say that either during the stream or maybe between streams, you should totally look at that, uh, video just so that you know what like the uh the dominant strategy is my coup <laughs> okay i can't get to that card 
drat and double drat. Oh well. I think I might be entering boss territory. Yeah, I'm definitely entering boss territory now. Yes. Oh man, I I'm getting flashbacks of when you played this level. <laughs> the first time you beat up, you actually died. I yes. remember that. I remember that. Because the boss had died, but he had still, like, sprouted had... up some goo, and the goo actually hit me on my, like, last hit. So even though I beat the boss, I had to do it all over again. Oh. Shoot. Come on. So, fun fact, you can actually, like, the uh, the little bomb that he drops, you can actually throw that at him and do a little bit of damage. Uh, that's what I was catch trying it. to do, and, whoops. You gotta catch it in your upraised hands. Yeah, I know. Uh, no. Anyway. Oh, boy. Well, I can get that card. Wait a minute, I got an extra life, yay! That's always good. Probably gonna need like an ass load of extra lives. Aren't I? Uh, I mean, like, the game overs in this okay. game really don't matter that much. Okay. They don't set you back that much. You will game over a lot. Probably, especially during Milo's run. Yeah, I, I can only imagine. Come here. Come on, guy. Come on. So the shield break, I think, actually doesn't affect him. Oh, it's only like throwing boxes in his mouth and throwing bombs at him that does. Do segmented serpents appear a lot in this game, or does this game area just have a surplus? I think that there's uh, like two bosses that are segmented serpents. Like they just kind of figured that it was a good like first level boss. So they did it for both, all, all three of the characters, really. Damn it. Dang it. Although a lot of the uh, bosses are segmented. Okay. Just... And a lot of the mini bosses are, so I suppose that's an interesting thing to note. Hmm. I believe in you, my kid. Yes. Believe in me who believes in you. Where the hell is that from? <laughs> that is from uh, Gurren Logan, I believe. Okay. Uh, just a quick question, everybody. There's not any, you know, uh, any lag in the stream, is there? Because kind of seeing it on my OBS screen is kind of, kind of bothering me a bit. And I hope I don't die! There we go. Okay. So there was a little bit of a hiccup for me, but mm. it's kind of smoothing itself out. I'm kind of wondering. Ah, uh, unlocked an achievement. Treasure Hunter. Uh, that's nice. Treasure Hunter for was for when you actually dug up some uh, <laughs> some coins from below. Oh, okay. Very Gunstar Heroes. <laughs> They're a very Sega Genesis thing. Yeah, that I believe that I agree with. Just because of like the sprites with uh, I like the smiling stump. Mm-hmm. Uh, what chat issues are you having, Red Mage Mike? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Skips and Chad looked at like me posting the link and was like, "Darn school!" <laughs> All in caps. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a dragon. 
Still need to play Gunstar Heroes, Luca Trippet says. Mm -hmm. So, I've heard so much praise about Gunstar Heroes, but I can't find myself, like, interested in how it actually plays. I don't know, I, got, I gotta, like, just play it sometime, because maybe it just cut, doesn't come through in video very well. Because looking at videos of it, it looks so boring, and yet I hear so much universal praise for it. Like, it looks like a game that just kind of plays itself. From what little I've seen of it. Which is probably very, very wrong, and I'll have to just play it and get over, like, my... <laughs> my inborn bias from looking at a video of it. So we're back in the second level, obviously. Everybody's universal second level. Uh don't know how many unique stages Mila has. I think she actually doesn't have as many as, like, Lilac and Carol do. Mm. They... But then again, I could be completely and totally wrong, and in the late game we'll see some interesting stuff. Right. Uh, Megafire, this is just my personal uh, Discord server. And the one that we're talking on is mm -hmm. Maiku's Discord server, but mm -hmm. the one that I was talking about earlier with the one that Skips mm -hmm. mentioned was my Discord server. Mm -hmm. Okay, apparently uh, uh, Mila can't use those little launch pads like Carol can. Yep, uh -huh. those are definitely a Carol-specific thing. Ah, yes. Can't get coins out of them, though, funnily enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not coins, but crystals. Oh, whatever. <laughs> 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 really? Really, Lu Luca Trooper, really? Dick Sword servers. <laughs> Behold the mighty Dick Sword. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's, let's not discuss that any further. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, there's a card there. Such a hypocrite, my coup. <laughs> You're perfectly don't, don't... fine being yeah. dirty in my streams and my videos, but when I'm trying to be dirty in your streams and your videos, ha. Ah. First of all, that's when we're not streaming. But I am doing videos still, and uploading those videos. <laughs> okay, make a fire. Come on. <laughs> all right, all right, everybody. I know I started it, but... Oh, you didn't do the skip, my coup on this boss. Yeah, I I mistimed it. I think well. you mistimed it on both Carol's run and this run. Actually, it, or did you only do it on Carol's run? Yeah, I, I I think you've only done it once though. Okay. There's also apparently a skip with Lilac in specific where she can actually skip like the switch doors that are in this area. Like the area that you were in just now, mm -hmm. and she just can just go through, like the locked switch door that has like the two walls in front of it. And I don't even know how. I haven't looked it up because I can't figure it out just like playing the game myself. That's for sure. But there's actually an achievement for it. <laughs> kind of funny. Our game has this bug in it, but we loved it, so we made it an achievement. Oh crap, that's my first death as Mila. Oh man. Is it? You didn't die during the first boss at all? I don't even remember anymore. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's right, I did. <laughs> you can you can tell I'm pretty groggy right now. Been up all We're night. All up and 
We're all up in the AM. It's great. It's a wonderfully uh, sleepy time. It's like having a little bit of a sleepover. Just chatting as we get more and more tired throughout the night. Except it's the morning. Which can be just as sleepy, actually. Believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Disco World Servers. Sleeping in the summer of an afternoon, look at Troopa. Damn it. These one eyed bats won't leave me alone. We'll kill them. I have, have killed them. You have the technology. We'll kill more of them because they're pests that are like gnats and they appear like a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. They do, they do indeed. Whoa, what was that? And, okay. Okay. Wrong there's a, there's song, a... Nico. Although, the right genre. Kind of. I guess. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is a unique thing. Yeah. Just... Mila gets to go on a little bit of a uh, rail cart ride. Get all those spikes out the way. Yay, another life. I could use it. They could have done a little bit more with this rail cart section, though. Yeah. There's, like, not enough gameplay to it, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, Mikafar. We've come too far to give up who we are. So let's raise the bar and our cups to the stars. Woohoo. <laughs> Woohoo, yes. Oh, shoot. Oh, hey, look. It's your favorite area, Maiku. No. With your favorite boss. No. No. No, 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 no. Not, not this again. <laughs> yes. So, yes. fun fact, there's actually a achievement for killing the Mantis' arms before he properly starts the battle. Really? Ain't much you can do with real cards. I disagree. There's a lot of things that you can do with that. And video games in general have done a lot of things with that. It's just a poorly designed section. That's all there is to it, honestly. Oosh. Extra life. And a cute little extra life as well. Yeah, yeah. I always love I always love the way the lives look in this game. Just make them look like cute little like imps kind of. I love how this shield attracts all the crystals, but but unfortunately it doesn't attract all the health power ups. The health pickups. <laughs> you can't have everything in life, Maiku. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Wee! <laughs> of course, that we will be completely out of. Out of context. Out of context. <laughs> or out of sync. Yes. Yep. Well, Red Mage Mike, but if you try sometimes, you just oh. might find you get what you need. Yes, I went there. Oh, I hate that song so much. <laughs> just not a fan of classic rock? I'm not a fan of, like, the songs I've heard over and over and over again on the radio. 
<laughs> like just in general, like there's just a so shit ton of if stuff. I were to sing September by Earth, Wind, and Fire, you would have a hissy fit. Especially considering it is the 21st of September. I don't think I've heard that one that much, actually. Oh, really? Although I think my grandfather actually has it as his ringtone, but... <laughs> oh, it's that darn bony ostrich. That ostrich got so much easier for me after I figured out that... <laughs> from just looking at your playthrough that just... It hitting the back of it damages it. Like, I just never figured that out on my own because it doesn't look like it, it hurts itself. It doesn't like flash or anything. Uh, make a fire quoting Monty Python right there. I do like the other September song, Wake Me Up When September Ends, which is kind of funny because that one's really, really overplayed, but I still like it. So it's just kind of weird, you know? how the human mind works in that way. Mm. Like, it's not a rule that every single overplayed song yeah, will, yeah, like, yeah. I'll dislike. Okay, I'm trying to find my way. Is there, like, somewhere else I need to go? Or something? Is... I can't... I can't get up there. No. And I can't get over here. Let's not talk about Psy. All right. Oh, God. No. That one I hate. That one I definitely hate. Yes. A lot. Oh, I can actually destroy blocks with uh, the green thing. Okay. Good to know. And there's Spade. Hey, you Spade. God, I, I still want to fucking play as him. <laughs> like, they're being very tight-lipped about when the DLC for him is coming. If ever. I feel like they've just hit, like, a, a roadblock with it. And it's just kind of weird that they've announced, like, the DLC and... They've announced that they're working on the second game as well at like the same time, so it just feels like kind of, kind of like when uh, Ubisoft did um, Assassin's Creed Rogue and Assassin's Creed Unity. Probably not, depending on if they were by the same studio inside of Ubisoft, because Ubisoft is like a thousand-person company with like all these different departments, so they can afford to work on like two things at the same time. But with Freedom Planet, it's an indie team, so them saying that they're working on like a DLC and working on a second game as well at the same time is a little bit weird. That's... Completely and totally disagree that Psy is sonically okay. <laughs> <laughs> Red Mage Mike. You can do Gangnam Style for the next talk house scenes, and that's completely and totally okay, because uh, obviously I don't listen to it. I, 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 I will not do that, never. Never <laughs> never in a million years. I will, I, will, I will veto that shit. <laughs> I'm glad we agree on something, Maiku. Oh, do you remember that one time when I was talking about, like, the song that I absolutely hated, like, the most out of every overplayed song? Hmm. I remembered what it was. Because I forgot what it was. Quickly look up who did it. Pink, just give me a reason. I fucking hate that song so much. You know the song I can't stand? It's called what? Handlebars by Flowbots. Oh no! I love that song. Uh, how can you love that song, man? I love that song. <laughs> it's just a, the way he sings it. It sounds more like childish taunting than anything else. I I hate that song with a such a passion. <laughs> 
and the fact that a co-worker of mine used to play that song at full volume while we were working just made me hate that song even more. I do not have a high opinion of that song. Fair I will enough. never have a high opinion of that song. It's got some great music video, too. And just the rhythm of it is really good. Just, oh, I do love that song. Anything by Jason Derulo. The name doesn't ring a bell, but I probably know their music anyway. Actually, the name does ring a bell. I know them by name, but I don't, I don't connect it with music. So let me quickly look into what they've done. Get, oh, sh get, get out of my way. Okay, I think one more time. Oh, big old whiny freaking. Most songs Luca Trupa hates are from an ideological standpoint. That one's kind of interesting. I don't think... don't think that I examine lyrics that much to where I would hate them on an ideological standpoint. For the most part. Like, the way that I listen to music is that I don't actually listen to, like, the, the content of lyrics. Often. Yeah. Like, I only hear, like, the sound of the singer's voice, and I hear, like, the melody and the bass and whatnot, and I just take that in, but I don't actually, like... Like, it's like I'm always listening to a language that I don't understand. Oh, yeah. That's Blurred the... Lines, I cannot stand that song, period. Okay, that's one that I ideologically hate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And I beat this boss without dying! Eminem is kind of saddening because there is a talent there, there is a lot of good production there, but the actual like words and the actual ideas behind the music is unfortunate, yes. Yes. And I got an achievement. Super shield burst finish. Good job. Yes, I did a very good job. Job. Let me know once cutscene stuff is over. Okay. I do believe we've seen this cutscene before in Carol's story. and get home so I can patch it up. Well, this stinks. How are we gonna get more money? We'll think of something. What I really want to know is why Spade is working for Mayor Zhao. Mm, but loads of cash? Well, Zhao might know something about the assassination, but that still doesn't explain what he needs the stone for. I have a bad feeling about it. What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, someone with a shield told me how to betray you. It must have been her. <laughs> Sorry about pouncing on you. Hello? I'm sorry? Don't be scared. I promise we'll keep you safe. No, it's okay. I was just... 
surprised is all. Go ahead. Are they hurt you? <laughs> it's like a rope. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can be friends. Sure. My new one. What's your name? Lila. That's a pretty name. <laughs> Thanks. This is my friend Carol. Nice to meet you. So, thanks for saving me back there. Well, what are you doing all the way out here? I was going over to the pier, and then those people came in, and they're not letting me in. I actually... You know what? You can come to our secret hideout. What? Really? Yeah. Nobody knows where it is except us. You know, we can really talk over these cutscenes. Your Excellency! Okie doke. Yeah. By who? Luca Trooper says, this feels like a really weird <laughs> social interaction. Is this how extroverts act? So the mm -hmm. thing is, is that some people, like, think that the way the characters act is mm -hmm. not exactly, like, the best of acting. Mm -hmm. Like, and the voice acting puts off some people, so... This is troubling. Zao may be a <sighs> but I never it's hard to say, honestly. Mm -hmm. If it's just weird because it's extroverts, or if it's because of the writing and voice acting ability of the game. Don't be hard on yourself, Carol. I find a lot of the cutscenes quite charming. I'll always yes. say that, though. Tell me, who was it that issued this warning? I, I just, I just like the magister's voice. Oh yeah, he's got a very, very deep, very lovely voice to listen to. Mm hmm. Luca Trooper does not like the face on the green cat. No! Carol's my favorite. Okay, this is new. I will not let Levin get that stone. I'm sorry about your captain, but you can't destroy it. In fact, you won't even have to think about it, because I'm going to help you get it back. I don't care how dangerous it is. It's going to take a lot more than robots and aliens to slow a dragon down. And she's going to go for it, then I am too. If we can beat up a giant playing magic thing... <laughs> yeah, you know, Ninja Herc. So I was actually telling Mikeu about this before the show, but there's this interesting little uh, website company kind of thing called IndieBox. And what they do is they actually uh, work with indie game companies, and they'll create like physical box editions of their games and send them up out to customers who are willing to pay a slight premium. And they actually did one for Freedom Planet that was pretty cool. It's a neat little idea, and it's neat to see like a company keeping up with boxed editions in general, because there's something that have really, really gone away as we've gotten more and more into like digital gaming. Yeah, I know. I like I like the physical stuff. I love the way that some things are packaged. You know, like uh, like a couple of years ago, uh, Peter Gabriel re-released So, and uh, the packaging was just absolutely amazing. I would show it on camera, but I'd have to leave my chair to go retrieve it, and that would not look good on the stream. So, Blizzard put out some really, really nicely boxed stuff once upon a time. Like, especially like the Diablo war chest that they put out. 
Mm -hmm. It was just this entirely huge box that had the first and second Diablo. You would sacrifice your very life for the good of this kingdom, wouldn't you? Go ahead yeah. and link. Yeah, Red Mage Mike is with me. <laughs> yeah, I still like buying CDs, yeah. When it comes to music, I'm very mm. much a digital person, though. I don't mind not having a box. Mm. So, I'm going to go ahead and spoil it for you, Luca Trupa, but you're actually spot on, because Pork is, like, disguised as a creature of this world, but they're actually an alien. Well, if you saw my first two playthroughs, he'd know that. <laughs> <laughs> I find I'm my music with GBA cartridges. <laughs> That's a wonderful way to buy music. I wonder if it was ever done. I wonder if you're actually referencing something there, because I can imagine Nintendo just being like, putting out some some music cartridges. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not say pork. Did you say pork, Borge? I did not. Okay. But it might have sounded like I did, because I'm having to speak very low. So some of my words are slurring together. <laughs> I'm not speaking as clearly as I would be if, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I could speak as loudly as I wanted to. Yeah, I know. I know. Speaking of cartridges, uh, I'm still kind of curious about the rumors that Nintendo will be switching back to cartridges for their next system. It seems that a lot of the rumors are kind of becoming spot on, especially the one that says that the system is going to be like a, a hybrid handheld system that's just really powerful. So a lot of people are thinking like the Wii U tablet controller just on its own. Yay, blooper. People make music with GBAs, but I had to cave there's actual musical-oriented cartridges. So I, I don't know about making music with GBAs. I know that there's a big Game Boy scene, and you can find a lot of DJs that actually make uh, music by, by like routing through a Game Boy in a very interesting way and using the sound card in that. But I did not know of similar, like, things being done with Game Boy Advance. I suppose it's totally possible, though. Like, famously, they actually featured that kind of thing in uh, Steven Universe. Mm. Where they showed a DJ routing through a uh, Game Boy. Oh, hey, they've even got a Game Boy Advance set up, too. All right, so I guess I'm full of crap, and you totally can use it with a uh, GB as well. I'm going to skip through these cutscenes, so, because I've seen this bit too much. Sure thing. Uh, let's, just, let's just skip scene. Let's just... I mean, like, your third playthrough, it's going to be like, yeah. Uh, I get it. Yeah, Especially yeah. with how how yeah. long like the Freedom Planet cutscenes go on for. Yeah. I remember if you want to skip everything completely, you say next stage instead yeah, of just next scene. Yeah, I know. I you just know. want to make sure you don't miss anything. Yeah, there's also I found out about this little uh, little Easter egg feature with. Uh, some of the dialogue, and uh, I want to actually try to get some of that dialogue. Uh, feature some of that dialogue in there, so I'm turning the volume of the game up just slightly. What's the Easter egg? Well, if you hold down and special, you get some bonus dialogue, like you know? like bloopers and whatnot. So oh, that's fine. Determined to get that stone back. I never knew that. So there's one coming up just now, like so... 
I've been called worse. Where is it? What does that acronym stand for, Luca? I should probably know what it stands for, but I don't. Your brother. Okay, here it comes. Prince Dale of Prince. This is hard to be cool and suave while being informative at the same time. God damn my coolness. <laughs> Prince Dale of Schwegar. Really? When he finds the man who murdered our father, there will be no mercy for the kingdom responsible. That is amazing. We know responsible. Nice try. Will you just hold on a minute and let us explain? What? So you can throw me Am I still with you, Mike? Hmm? Okay, just making sure. Everyone I worried I disconnected for a second. No, 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 you're still here. We'll cut him off with a huge shopping mall over there. Okay. Okay. Here comes the most beautiful level ever created for this game, at least in my opinion. Oh yeah, I, I'm totally with you on that one. Fortune Knight is beautiful. Oh yes. Simply beautiful! I've been watching too much Dokapon Kingdom. <laughs> From the Runaway Guys, or...? Yeah, the Runaway Guys, yes. Uh, okay. As far as I know, they were the only one actually doing things for that game. Nope, I can't, I can't do that. Oh, hello. Ah. Luckily, I found that lift. And... Yeah, all those fireworks. And no, nobody sing Katy Perry, thank you. <laughs> but it's such a good song. I'm sorry, I just... Most contemporary music I just can't get into. I think the only contemporary artist I'm like really into right now is Adele. And there's also Elliot Sumner, who ha actually happens to be the child of uh, one of my favorite artists, Sting. So basically the, uh, the nostalgic artists that are actually contemporary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> hey, I found a card, huh? That's nice. Now I... you just gotta find 20 more in the level. Yeah. I'm... There is an achievement for finding all of the cards in each level. I know, Perfect. but I doubt I will uh, actually earn that achievement. A lot of the achievements in this game you actually gotta be like working hard for, yes. so very few of them you'll get for a first time playthrough. Well, uh... well... I actually don't mind that line, Luca. I know a lot of people make fun of it, but I actually don't mind it. Just kind of it actually makes sense to me in some weird way. <laughs> Even though it's definitely become one of those lines that lots of people like making fun of. <clears throat> I've also got a certain... <laughs> probably totally, totally wrong to do, but I actually like the song a lot just because of, like, uh, John Tron's cover of Fireworks that he put out, which was an amazing cover. Especially with all of the animators that worked on it with him. a really really feel good video overall ah, awesome songs stream isn't being recognized by Luna so what is Luna is my well, question well it's a Luna bot is a, something that holo created for the discord house 2.0 Oh, uh, okay. Apparently, apparently the Luna bot is not working. As is to be expected from mm. an amateur built bot, honestly. Fine. 
And I don't say that like condescendingly, by the way. I would probably do the exact same thing if I was making a bot. I'm just saying, like, if you build a bot, there's going to be lots of problems with it. Because we are but human, after all. Yes, we are human, after all. The paper lanterns. <laughs> yes. Such a good level. <clears throat> yes, it is just so, so gorgeous, man. I can't get enough of its gorgeousness. Oh! Didn't expect that. I can understand not being too huge a fan of John Tron. Oh no. It's a mini boss. Some of his jokes and some of his humor can get a little bit grating, kind of. Yeah. But sometimes he uh, hits some really neat, neat spots. All defending. I definitely don't like a lot of his, uh, I don't like his film reviews at all, actually. He's been doing a lot of that recently. Oh, shit! Shit, 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 shit! Ah, oh, damn it! No! I fell in the spikes! Oh, no. It's like falling in the supersonic trap. Yes. No! No! I knew about it! Fuck! <laughs> That's an excellent impression of me. Good job. <laughs> totally spot on. <laughs> Grant, I actually did get very high pitched there. <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah, that just that just caught me by surprise because I was just so elated that I actually beat my portion of the level and and suddenly you fall into that spike pit. <laughs> Like, no. I was I was so mad at myself in the moment because like it's such an infamous trap. I just didn't know its exact location in the level. Like I knew it existed. <laughs> yeah, that's true as well. Jontron has gotten into uh, some really big uh Incidents, I suppose that's the best way of putting it. He has put his foot in his mouth a little bit here and there. Well, I have to say I've never seen any of JonTron's videos. Um, with one exception, there is one video where he was talking about the... Uh, some independent... Um, developers were making uh, servers for the uh, vanilla version of World of Warcraft and Blizzard was taking those uh, servers down. Was that like, was a, always kind of an interesting debate, for sure. Um, I didn't particularly like uh, John Tron's video on it because it would drag on a little bit too long without saying anything, in my opinion. But it was, <laughs> it was not a very well-organized video. But as for the actual debate itself, like, it's it's an interesting concept because, I mean, like, Blizzard is totally, totally within their rights to take down those servers because they are illegal and they are taking, you know, their assets and using them without their permission and whatnot. But at the same time, like, they don't offer that experience anymore that people want with Vanilla Warcraft. Okay. Yay. All right. Finally. That's taken care of. Okay. And there's a gas can for Carol. I could show you some of my favorite uh, John Tron little moments. Maybe just especially his, uh, his cover of Fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is wreckage from the ship and all the power-ups from, like, uh, Lilac and uh, Carol's story. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Yep, there's Serpentine. Alright. Okay, now we're in the shopping mall. I'm gonna just, uh, I'm just gonna lounge around for a bit. What do you say about that, Borch? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh... 
have myself something to drink while we uh, wait a little bit. For nothing. Nothing is coming. Nothing is going to happen. Nothing spiffy. Nothing out of the ordinary. What should I do? Well, you just wait there, Mila. I'll be with you shortly. Give me some V8 splash here. Um, oh, Mila just blushed. Oh my gosh. I didn't know she could do that. <laughs> I see. It's going to come on my screen. Oh, wow. Very, very cute. I have never seen Satchin continue. Out of the normal boot spear, the only two that I've ever watched were uh, Pro Jared and Jontron. Pro Jared, I disliked. Well. I guess I was mostly just bored by their presentation, I suppose. Alright, so I think you might have to do something else than what we think you have to do, my coup. So let me see if I can figure out what exactly that is. I think you have to be around one of the disco balls in the level. Uh, find a disco ball then, shall we? Uh, absolutely. Whee! Hey, there's a disco ball. There we go! There it is! <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. Such a hard little Easter egg because you never think of doing it. <laughs> and even when we got told what to do, we didn't know the exact parameters for it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, you dance to that beat, Mila. You do that thing. <laughs> shake it, oh, shake it. Okay. But everybody's doing the disco duck, Red Mage Mike. What's the disco duck? My coup. Uh, I'm on a loop. What's the disco duck? What does this refer to? It's a it's a song from the seventies. It's a novelty song. Ah, gotcha. Can I? Can I? <laughs> I can. <laughs> because I think this is the area that has the most Easter eggs out of the entire game. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, let's get out of here. The most fun things to do. Uh, there is an achievement, I believe, for playing the Freedom Planet theme on the piano that you can find in this area. But that would probably be very hard to do. Piano, first of all. Disco Duck is a horrible song. <laughs> I suppose it's good that I don't know it. Save myself for, on this day. Guess you can't go to the bathroom on Freedom Planet. That would be kind of funny if they just had like an, an Easter egg where you just press up on the uh, on the bathroom. And then you just went in there, and you hear a flush, and you're there for like a minute. <laughs> I would be very impressed if you could play the Free and Planet theme, my kid, but I don't think you'll be able to. <laughs> I just gotta remember how the Freedom Planet theme goes. It does not have a very memorable theme, does it? Even though it's really, really good, but it's hard to imagine what the note work is on it. Oh, 
Oh, that. Oh, I I misread what you were saying. Luca Trupa. Fair enough. Well, thanks for the help, Red. Whoa! Thanks for the help, Red Mage Mike. Oh my God! I can't go in the restroom. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> that is kind of hilarious. <laughs> So, look at Trupa, I actually find myself uh, curious. How many uh, non-binary bathrooms have you actually, like, seen around? Because I know the only one that I really, like, know that has actually, like, really uh, adopted that kind of standard was uh, Target, actually. Mm -hmm. Which was pretty cool, because they have started putting in non-binary bathrooms in all of their stores. But I haven't heard of many others actually... Uh, getting any press for doing it, anything along the same line of thought. I, I know that there was one uh, store called Kroger Actually, had, actually uh, you know what? I remember that uh, BronyCon actually got some press for doing such as well for their conventions to where they were putting in non-binary bathrooms. Yeah, apparently can even Red Mage Mike confirms. So I think actually conventions are uh, doing it a fair bit. Just happy to see. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to spit out crystals. Apparently not. Oh well. And yes, as in public ones. All right, now we're out of the shopping mall. Non-chain restaurants, your high school. Pretty cool high school. So there is an achievement on this boss, Maiku, for letting your companions uh, finish off Robo Panther. If you want to go for that. If you don't, then that's completely toy <laughs> Trying not to die. Oh yeah, this is probably gonna be a toughie. A little bit of a toughie. Yeah, because I'm trying to control Torch and Mila. And, and I'm kind of getting myself confused. I like Carol just coming in and being like, ah, let me karate chop you, or karate kick you a million times. <laughs> kind of randomly appearing on screen. I love it. Oh shit. I'm running out of health here. This is definitely a very fun fight just for the element of like your friends actually like helping you. Oh shit. Also for also for the for the projectiles, Mike, you remember that you can actually use the shield for that. Like maybe you can use your shield to aim above you for when the shots are falling. And that might be an idea. Maybe more, but you don't go out that often. Uh, not a lot of places uh, places have adopted it. And like obviously, there's a lot of uh, dissenting opinions there, unfortunately. But it is always nice whenever you see a company-wide thing of accepting it. I think Target is like the only big one that's actually done it. 
you know. I think Kroger may have done the same thing. I didn't even know that there were Kroger shops. The Kroger what do you mean fries? The grocery store. Where are they located? I've never even... I always thought that was just a brand, not an actual, like, store. Let me go in and look up where... I might not just have any in my, uh, area. Oh, okay. And I have another achievement. Disco Fever! Okay, so... On the East Coast, on the Southeast Coast, I suppose, it's called Kroger, and everywhere else it's called either Fry's or Smith's. So yes, mm -hmm. I do actually have a Kroger store where I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just not under the same name. Anyway, that's uh, three levels down. You're doing good. That yeah. made some good progress today, that's for sure. Yes. I think you actually made more progress than uh, <laughs> your other runs. You're yeah, getting good at the game on your third playthrough. Either that, or I'm, either that or Mila is just a secret badass. Who knows? She totally is, by the way. <laughs> oh, uh, before you end the stream, why don't you... Uh, like, I don't know if you have the setup, but you could throw up like the uh, the video for the Freedom Planet 1 speedrun with uh, Mila. Uh... What? Let me go ahead and throw you this link. Oh, this person isn't doing it right. Uh, one second. <laughs> ah, here we go. This person's doing it correctly. All right. <sighs> Can you actually put that up on a screen? Do you know how? Well, uh, let me get on Discord here. Because seeing mm. Mila speedrun is just mm. amazing, and it's something oh, that wow. everybody should experience. Well, you know, I don't think I could uh, safely put this on my stream. I don't want to get any, like, strikes or anything from Twitch, so I'm going to... Decline for now. We could just we could just put the link on the freaking uh, chat though. That sure thing. Be a problem. Yeah. Anyway, ah, uh, that's gonna do it for me this morning. Um, I'm glad you all could make it. Red Mage Mike, Luca Trippa, Mika Fire. Glad you three could make it. It's always great to see y'all. Borch, it is a pleasure. As to always. Have. And, of course, now, got to exit out of here. <laughs> anyway. And, Thank you uh, all for coming out. Yeah. And we might actually, uh, if you feel up for it, we can do this again tomorrow morning. How do you feel? I'm absolutely for it. Okay, then. Well, thanks, guys, for sticking by. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you, Borch, for joining me. It's awesome Absolutely. to have you. And uh, so I got to close it like I always close it. Remember that there's somebody out there that cares about you no matter what. Bye, everybody. Have a great day, night, whatever. <laughs>